live action Star Wars TV show, The Mandalorian. And Will Reeve got to go to Chicago where you got to meet some of the stars. I did. It was a great time. And Star Wars fans, they're mostly in the dark about this new series, but they do know that it takes place on a timeline between the return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. It's created by an A-list director, great track record there. And last weekend at Star Wars Celebration, thousands of fans, I mean thousands, got a look at the new show and the new character debuting in the Star Wars universe. This morning, a new character joins the Star Wars universe. He's all yours, bounty hunter. The Mandalorian, a bounty hunter in the mold of one of the franchise's most infamous characters, Boba Fett. I never felt that I got to see enough of, of Boba Fett. There was so much hype around Boba Fett. Director John Favreau living a Star Wars fan's dream, inventing a new story for the saga. I mean, the main thing, you know, you should have fun making Star Wars and we have a lot of fun. Favreau and his partner, Dave Filoni, created The Mandalorian a character and a show shrouded in mystery. I left the meeting and I was like, they want me to be the Mandalorian! What's the Mandalorian? <laughs> it's hard to explain! The highly anticipated show stars Game of Thrones alum Pedro Pascal. Have they told you who I am? Now trading his Dornish armor. You could at least wear a helmet. For that famous metal helmet. He is a bounty hunter like Boba Fett and um, uh, alone, gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy um, after the fall of the empire. Got my terminology right? Yeah. Other stars on the show include Apollo Creed himself, the legendary Carl Weathers, playing the leader of the operation. Star Wars appeals to all generations, but who is this show targeted to? You. <laughs> this story is targeted to everyone who has ever heard of, who has ever watched, who is inquisitive about, who are fans of ours. MMA fighter turned actress Gina Carano plays an ex-trooper trying to find her place in the universe. I just showed up to a meeting and then all of a sudden, I didn't even know it was for Star Wars, first of all. Right. And I got there and I was like, huh, that's a big deal. <laughs> the Mandalorian was a huge deal at Star Wars Celebration, getting a standing ovation from thousands at the big reveal. There was a reaction from the audience that felt like being on the receiving end of a, a jet. Yeah. You know, yeah, the there's a tremendous amount feeling. of energy coming, yeah. coming from the fans. You know, who, my sense of the whole thing is they really want to be satisfied. You know, they really want it to feel good. Being in that room literally gave me chills. It was, the enthusiasm was palpable. It was kind of like being at a rock concert. It was so loud. Uh, but the fans and you will have to wait until November 12th to watch that first episode of The Mandalorian only on oh. Disney+. Plus. But did you have a costume on? I did not, but I was very supportive of those who did. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.